Hey guys, it's Jacob from Living Healthy Every Day. Today I'm just sitting out here in my back office doing some work on my laptop as I uh, get some stuff done. But today I want to talk to you about a really neat way that you can increase plasticity in your brain and that's through a pathway called NOGO A. And so your brain, while you're developing, uh, does not have this gene pathway activated until past adolescence uh, it becomes activated, NOGO A becomes activated and you grow less axons and you grow less myelin. And so this pathway is highly activated in traumatic brain injuries and in Alzheimer's and uh, Parkinson's and parts where there's high amounts of dopamine uh, and if you inhibit this, inhibit this pathway, then you can increase brain plasticity, which means growing new neurons and the connection between the neurons. So I'm gonna teach you the benefits about NOGO A and ways you can inhibit it naturally and artificially. So let's get started. As I just pull up my laptop here, it is booting up, so I am tethering right now. All right, so if we pull up NOGO A and living healthy every day on Google, let's see what we get. All right, inhibiting NOGO A for increased brain plasticity. So it's also called reticulon 4. So it can improve recovery after traumatic brain injury. So rats in animal studies, they gave them no-go A inhibitors or no-go A antibodies that essentially inhibited either no-go A or the receptor and it improved the, the, the outcome of the stroke, of stroke. Uh, it can also improve the outcome of spinal cord injury. It can improve Parkinson's disease uh, by increasing the inflammation seen in parts of the brain and also uh, increasing dopamine in the superstantia nigra pars compacta. And if you want to see more in-depth analysis with all the studies and references, you can go to the website in the link uh, in the comments that's part of the blog here uh, it can improve multiple sclerosis so uh, it helps with promoting axonal repair if you inhibit it can increase new memory formation uh, it can protect the eyes during injury which is great I love that it can promote angiogenesis so you're creating new blood cells it can pre prevent hearing loss uh, it can help with ALS um, in a human clinical trial, they used uh, intravenous uh, anti-NOGO A uh, antibodies. Um, so it inhibited the demyelination of the muscle nerve uh, fibers. And there's some downsides to it, such as uh, if you are constantly inhibiting NOGO A, you're going to get irregular growth, which makes sense because it's a growth inhibitor, an axonal growth inhibitor. Uh, it can in some studies it's shown to promote schizophrenia. These were essentially mice that had a deletion of uh, NOGO A, so they're constantly expressing it past uh, adolescence, um, or they didn't have the, uh, the inhibition of NOGO A. So it can disrupt circadian rhythm. Uh, it may promote cancer as increasing any nootrophic factor uh, or a growth factor will increase your chances for cancer. It may promote Alzheimer's disease. This is heavily debated because it can reduce the plaques, but it shows that it can bind to the uh, uh, precursor proteins too. Um, but if you inhibit reticulon 3, which is another part of the no-go gene, uh, it can actually be beneficial for Alzheimer's. So what can you do to inhibit NOGO A? Well, you can take Catapol or Ramanina, Mania. You can
can do electro acupuncture. You can drink green tea or just take EGCG supplements. You can take high doses of vitamin E, which can increase your chances of getting a stroke. So I wouldn't necessarily do that. Um, hyperbaric oxygen chamber therapy. Uh, Icarin or horny goat weed. Uh, you can increase BDNF and I have a huge list of BDNF enhancers uh, on, on the blog. You can check it all out. Uh, you can take Panax Ginseng. You can take Yogui, which is a blend of Chinese herbs that they use in a couple studies. Or Zogui. Um, this is also another different blend of Chinese herbs. Um, now if you're getting very scientific, you can take anti no -go a antibodies. Um, you can take something called Basudal. You can take Gangliocide, which uh, activates GM1. Uh, you can express GPR50. You can express uh, LIR, LILRA3. You can take NOGO66 uh, antagonist peptides. You can take a drug called, uh, this is another antibody, Ozanezumab. Um, and another few peptides, which they're just a bunch of characters and letters. So that is how you increase brain plasticity just by inhibiting a genetic pathway. So thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it to anyone that you think would need this. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And be sure to hit the little bell on the side of the subscribe to get updates on when the new videos are out. So thanks guys for watching and stay beautiful.